Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be our weekly love read. And I got a new deck I want to try out here um, of love cards. We'll see. See if the universe can speak to us through these. See what she has to say to us about love and about romance. Maybe. Oh, maybe that special someone is coming our way. Oh, and as I say that, I pulled soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what else she's got. Getting to know each other. So I mean, you just just met somebody. And make the effort. Uh, so it's speaking to definitely taking time to get to know somebody and emotionally invest. I have deception. Someone is wearing um, a false self mask in this relationship. So I feel like it speaks to being true, being honest. If this is your soulmate, not hiding anything about yourself. Um, calling in your soulmate. Uh, so definitely this is someone you've been looking for for a while. I feel like it's someone you've been imagining, somebody you've been thinking about. And I feel like the universe has heard that and they've brought this person to you. And now it's time to, to get to know each other, to open up and to be honest. I mean, if this is your soulmate, might as well put the effort in and be honest because this is somebody you're going to spend the rest of your life with anyways. So I have the temperance card and the temperance card uh, represents a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like it's also tying into to being true and being honest with this person. I feel like the seven of cups is speaking to that as well because the seven of cups represents choices and choosing wisely, having many options. So I feel like, I feel like they're speaking to being honest and being true, um, opening up about about your personal truths to uh, to this person so that they can get to know the real you. Um, I have the strength card as well. To me it represents it takes a certain kind of inner strength uh, to be able to be an open book with someone because we always have things um, that we don't particularly like about ourselves. Um, maybe some some less enduring qualities and it does take strength to be able to be completely honest with another person. I have the Queen of Wands to me. She represents passion, ambition and drive and passion. Someone with a high energy. I feel like, I feel like she's speaking uh, to you or to your partner who's coming in to your life. This, this soulmate, this person, whatever you has a very high energy, is very ambitious, is very driven. I have the Three of Pentacles, which represents starting to see the fruits of your labor. And I feel like it's speaking to this calling in your soulmate and how you've dreamt of them for so long, how you've how you've been thinking about them, how you've been sending those vibes out into the universe and now they finally come your way. So I have the Four of Swords here and the Four of Swords uh, to me definitely ties into uh, getting to know each other, taking the time, putting in the effort uh, of getting to know somebody. I have the Six of Pentacles which represents an even give and take. And I feel like it's also speaking to, to building, building this relationship from the ground up and being honest at uh, that even give and take back and forth. I have the chariot card, which represents positive movement forward, which I believe being honest and open is. And the queen of cups, and to me the queen of cups is very symbolic in this read of finding somebody who's emotionally understanding and emotionally fulfilling. Somebody you can lean on, somebody you can trust. The six of wands represents triumph over challenges. So to me it speaks of a success in this relationship uh, that will come from over time, um, navigating different obstacles together. I have the Two of Swords here too, and the Two of Swords can represent um, having trouble making a decision, finding clarity. I feel like I feel like it's also tied into opening up to this person and telling them. I feel like there's something. There's something there in your life that you're nervous about letting them know because you feel like it might scare them off. I feel like that's what the Two of Swords is speaking to. Uh, to me, the High Priestess represents trusting your intuition, um, that spiritual side of you, and trusting 
that by doing the right thing, you'll be rewarded from the universe with good things manifesting in your life with positivity in this relationship. I do have the two of cups, which represents a relationship. Um, I feel like it's talking about this new soulmate connection as well. Opening up to them, creating a deeper bond. Uh, the page of pentacles represents good news. So I feel like by being able to open up to this person, I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the response that you get. The Eight of Cups represents a bright new journey forward and leaving the past behind. So I feel like the thing, I feel like the thing that you're you're afraid of telling them and opening up to them about is something tied to your past. But by being able to open up about it, I feel like that's going to help you to actually leave it behind in the past and move forward and move past it. I have the five of wands, which represents an inner conflict. I feel like this is also speaking um, to this truth you're afraid of sharing. And the four of cups, which, oh, okay. I feel like by not opening up, it's actually going to cause you to emotionally withdraw from this person, or at least that's how they're going to perceive it. And it can be detrimental to the relationship, and it could hinder you guys um, building a solid foundation. I have the Empress card and she represents nurturing and growth. I feel like it's important. This honesty is important for you to get, you guys to be able to grow this relationship. The Ace of Cups represents new beginnings and Cups is all about emotions. So I feel like this is actually going to be healing for you and being able to open up to this person and build a nice deep relationship with them. I feel like it's going to be setting the foundation uh, for abundance in the home life. I have the Eight of Wands, which represents swift change. I also feel like it's going to be, and I don't want to call it like a turning point in this relationship, but I feel like it's somewhere between turning point and new beginning. By being able to open up, I feel like, I feel like it's going to be very altering for your relationship in a positive way of uh, being able to make this deep emotional connection and show this level of trust with somebody. I have the eight of pentacles, which represents learning. I feel like it's going to be eye opening for you. I feel like you're going to learn about yourself and you're going to learn about this person. The two of you are going to learn about each other. I have the king of swords here. The king of swords represents honesty and integrity. I feel like it's speaking to this soulmate of yours and that you're going to be able to see these qualities shine through when you open up to them, when you share those personal truths, when you are honest with them, when you show that you have integrity as well. I feel like you're going to be able to see that back because I don't think they're going anywhere. I don't think this is going to scare them off. And I think it's only going to build a deeper relationship for you because I do have the judgment card. Uh, she's my karma card and she represents getting back what you put out into the world. So I feel like by, by putting out that honesty, you're going to get honesty in return. I have the world card as well, which represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. But these are ones that you have to earn. This isn't just luck. This isn't like winning the lottery or something. So I feel like this is what you're going to earn by being open and honest with this person. So I have the Hierophant here, and the Hierophant speaks of a higher level of learning to me. It speaks of an insight. It speaks of it speaks of learning about each other. I feel like it's talking about this Eight of Pentacles. It's talking about this, this High Priestess card, this deeper understanding that the two of you are going to have for each other. I have the Knight of Pentacles. When he speaks to a person, uh, the most important quality he speaks to is somebody who's steadfast and not going anywhere. And I think that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about soulmates that are meant to be together and nobody's planning on going anywhere. So we, it makes the most sense to be an open book. Um, so that you can really get to know each other deep down to the core and build that strong, long-lasting relationship. I have the King of Wands, which I feel echoes this Queen of Wands energy, as well as the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles speaks of, of being giving and generous and caring. 
I feel like the two of you will very much complement each other. I'm going to pull just a few more cards. We'll do these guys here. So I have the Two of Pentacles, which again is about an even give and take finding balance. I think, again, it's speaking to, to being open and honest with that person. And then being open and honest with you, I definitely feel like it speaks to deepening the passion and the love for each other as the lover's card is representing in this read the six of swords speaks of moving from stormier times to calmer ones and i feel like it's speaking to you mentally and emotionally by being able to to open up to this person it it lets go of some of the burdens uh that you're carrying i feel like there's there's that fear and that insecurity and i feel like you're going to be able to let go of that and it speaks to that eight of cups and moving on starting a bright new future and leaving the past in the past and the page of cups represents good news on the way and again cups is emotion so i feel like it's it's the reaction that you're going to get from this person it's the lightning of your own self and your own soul and your own heart and of the deeper connection that the two of you are going to form together Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment if it resonated with you. I would love to hear about it. Take care.